Today we're here with the RF Digital 21737 with the RF D21733 module mounted on top of it and this is a demonstration for how to manually, as in humanly, read the built-in electronic serial number out uh, so you can also get the version number of uh, the current firmware loaded on the device. We have an FTDI cable uh, connected but any serial device will work. We have um, uh, configured this with the RFD21737 to supply 5 volt from the FTDI cable uh, to the module because it has an onboard 3 volt regulator actually 3.3 volt regulator and uh, the two blue wires over here are uh, TX and RX signals which run at 3.3 volt because we're using the 3.3 volt FTDI cable and uh, we also have uh, this blue wire here uh, connects pin 2 and 3 of the 21737 together so that it'll turn on the onboard regulator there is a 22K resistor uh, right there which goes from the 5 volt um, uh, input to um, the program line and the program slash learn line uh, which is what is turning on the LED up here same thing as uh, pressing this button why we use a 22K resistor to do that is because there is an onboard 47K resistor on the 21737 eval board so the divider of 22k over 47k forms uh, a two-thirds divider dropping the 5 volts down to an acceptable 3.3 volt logic it's just a quick makeshift way of doing this with uh, minimal components in addition the last connections are uh, the reset pin which we have the black wire which goes to ground and we have the blue wire which goes over to the reset pin of the module of the actually of the 21737 all these pins are clearly identified on the 21737 schematic available at rfdigital.com and by the reset connection uh, being uh, bridged by this blue wire when we pull it off you can see the LED goes off and back on showing it is in reset state or not reset state now to read the electronic serial number we're coming to the PC here which we have hyperterminal um, we're going to launch hyperterminal once we launch Hyperterminal, we can just start a session and we're going to select the appropriate COM port. The device uh, is connected. We're going to select uh, 9600 baud, no parity, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, and flow control is none. So there is no flow control. Click Apply and OK. Now we are ready. Now we're going to go over to a notepad session. While we're sitting on the notepad session, we're going to type READ ESN in all caps. R-E-A-D space E-S-N. Not M, but N. The purpose for this is we're going to capture this with a highlight, control, and copy because we need to paste it all at once into the hyperterminal because there is no uh, carriage return line feed required to execute the readback mode as I'm going to demonstrate now so what we're going to do in hyperterminal is right click and you have an option of paste to host so since I have already copied read space ESN I'm going to paste to host into hyperterminal at just the right time the proper timing for the RFD21733 RFDP8 protocol to do an ESN readback is 250 milliseconds after you have released reset. So reset is pulled to ground and then it is released. As soon as it is released, you are ready to send the read ESN and do a readback, but you must send it within one second. So you only have a 750 millisecond window to send the read ESN and as we're going to demonstrate how to humanly do this right now so right now you can see a partial view of the hyperterminal window and you're going to see a partial view of the RFD21737 and you can see the timing as I pull the wire out I'm going to click paste to host and I did so now if we come back over here we can see that the electronic serial number did print out and as well the version number showing the current version as V1.6A that will show the timestamp as well as the particular serial number for this device. Now I'm going to demonstrate this just a couple more times.
as far as how it's done. Currently, it is still uh, copied to Notepad, or not to Notepad, but to the clipboard. The copy to the clipboard of the read ESN is still there. So all I'm going to do is right click and prepare with the copy, uh, I'm actually with the paste to host right now, as you can see. I'm going to pull reset off by pulling the blue wire that I was showing in my prior demonstration. I'm going to pull it off, click, and there it is. I print it again. I'll show one more time. I'm going to prepare with the paste to host, pull reset off, paste. And as you can see, it keeps printing over and over again. And if you have any further questions about how to perform this, please feel free to give a call to RF Digital Support at any time. We are always here to help you. And you can also email support at rfdigital.com. Note that this feature is meant to be used with a machine such as a microcontroller. So that way, timing will be very easy. This is the human way of doing it and not really intended for this purpose. Thank you.